In September 2014, Apple revealed that it would revolutionize how we complete credit card purchases. A few weeks later, Apple Pay was released to the 39.2 million iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus owners. I'm Keith Miles, and I'm going to discuss how Apple Pay changes everything. The credit card is approaching retirement age. To be exact, the modern credit card was created 56 years ago, but the history of the credit card stretches back a lot longer than that little plastic card. In the past, banks and businesses would give credit to their customers for the purpose of creating customer loyalty. The first uh, version of what we would call a credit card was created by John Biggins of the Flatbush National Bank in the 40s. The card, called Charge It, was actually made of metal rather than today's plastic and could only be used by consumers at merchants who also did business with the same bank. But the basic concept of today's credit cards were all there. The modern credit card was created by Bank of America in 1958. Originally, it was known as Bank AmeriCard, but the company rebranded itself in the mid-1970s as Visa. The rapid rise in popularity of Bank AmeriCard spurred many of Bank America's competitors to band together, and in 1966, they created their own credit card that we know today as MasterCard. These two companies, along with American Express and Discover, now have over 511 million cards in circulation, just in the U.S. alone. All total, there's an estimated $3.9 trillion of credit card debt in the U.S. as of May 2014. With all that money being exchanged, it's easy to see how people would want to take advantage of the system for their own gains. Credit card fraud is a big business, but prior to the information age, credit card fraud took the form of creating a fake card with authentic account information and passing it to a clerk in a store, knowing that they wouldn't be able to confirm all the account details in real time. Today, the digitization of credit card transactions has allowed some technically inclined thieves to steal thousands, sometimes millions, of valid credit card numbers at one time. In the last 14 years, credit card fraud has had a nearly six-fold increase, reaching over $11 billion in 2012. In most cases, banks will protect their customers from fraud losses. However, the banks have to write off these losses, and they generally pass them along in the form of higher fees or rates. Credit card fraud and data security in general has become a hot topic in the last few years with notable security breaches at Target stores in December 2013 and Home Depot in April of this year, affecting millions of people and costing banks and consumers billions of dollars. Unfortunately, data breaches have become so commonplace that many consumers are more frustrated at their bank when they deactivate their card than they are at the merchant for not securing their information in the first place. All this increased fraud has resulted in a push to change the credit card industry and move away from the old plastic cards with the embossed numbers. There have been several new technologies proposed to change the industry, including Near Field Communication, or NFC. This technology involves an embedded chip inside the card that contains all of the card's information that can be read wirelessly by specially equipped readers. The credit card information and the purchase amount are then sent to the customer's bank as the same way as a traditional credit card. This means that NFC transactions are exposed to the same potential fraud as the 56-year-old plastic card. NFC has been slow to gain traction in the U.S., primarily due to the expense involved with updating merchants with terminals equipped with the NFC technology, and also the cost of replacing all of those cards with cards containing an NFC chip. Another factor is that NFC information on a card can also be read by potential thieves if they simply get close enough to a person holding the NFC equipped card and they have the right equipment to read it. This security concern caused many banks to abandon placing NFC chips in their cards, further slowing down the technology's expansion. One idea is to replace the card with an NFC equipped smartphone. This removes the physical plastic card from the equation by essentially cloning all of the card's details, storing it on the smartphone, and the phone transmitting the original information using NFC to a reader. This creates a more secure environment because the smartphone only broadcasts the information when the user wants it to. 
However, the transmission of information between the smartphone and the terminal can still be intercepted by thieves if they're close enough to detect the phone's NFC broadcast. In addition, just as with traditional and NFC equipped plastic cards, a transaction made with a smartphone still contains all of the same credit card information that's been sent to banks for decades. While the technology used to complete the payment has evolved, the technology used to transfer the payment back to the customer's bank has not. It's still just as easy today to commit fraud as it has been for years. That's where Apple Pay changes everything. Apple Pay builds upon the technologies that have already been on the market and does something completely different with them. Apple uses the already existing NFC technology by including a chip in their latest smartphones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Other manufacturers, such as Samsung, have included NFC chips in their smartphones for years, but the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus are the first iPhones to include the technology. Why is this important? Well, Apple reports that over 36 million 6 and 6 Pluses have been sold since they went on sale in September 2014. So in just a short time, millions of people became equipped with an NFC device in their pocket. This cost banks nearly nothing to suddenly have a huge NFC market that they can easily tap into. The other part of this equation is perhaps the most important. When a payment is completed using Apple Pay's NFC, it isn't processed in the same way that credit transactions have been in the past. Rather than transmitting the card information, such as uh, account number and expiration date, Apple creates a one-time use transaction token for that purchase along with its partners Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. This token is issued to the customer's phone for that single transaction and for that single purchase amount. Once the token is used, it's no longer valid and can't be used again. This means that even if a thief were to intercept the transaction, the information that they would capture would be completely useless. The creation of this token by Apple in partnership with Visa, MasterCard, and Amex, along with some of the largest banks in the U.S., has the potential to completely eliminate credit card fraud. However, only time will tell if this really holds true. As with all new technologies, thieves will work quickly to find out if there are any exploits that they can take advantage of to gain access to the trillions of dollars flowing through the credit card networks. Banks and consumers are betting that this new technology will reduce or eliminate fraud, which will save billions of dollars each year. This new way of completing credit card payments will spread. Because Apple developed this alongside Visa, MasterCard, and Amex, the tokenization of payments is able to be moved over to other smartphone payment applications such as Google Wallet, SoftCard, and Loop. We can expect for them to adopt this new secure way of completing payments, further extending the increased security pioneered by Apple Pay. We can see that by the introduction of Apple Pay, the entire credit card industry could rapidly change. Pushed by the security breaches and ever-increasing losses due to fraud, credit card companies and banks and merchants will begin adopting new technologies and abandoning the decades-old plastic card and its dated processing method. The tokenized NFC created by Apple, along with other emergent security technologies, will forever change how credit card transactions are completed.